like I worried for nothing. I guess I can just chill now. I can chill now. I can chill. I can commentate. I can commentate Bishley versus Zach. This will be this will be a this fun set. This is just gonna be a meme <coughs> fest, I think. Is Zach going Shulk? I hope so. Why do you hope Zach's going Shulk? Okay, no, he's not. All right. He. W <laughs> All right. So we are actually gonna see Bishley's Fox and Zach's Diddy Kong. These are these are their mains. Two top tier players in the mm -hmm. Vancouver area with top tier characters. Just top ten players, based on the previous PR anyway. Uh, oh, the new, the next one. yeah, the new the new uh, PR updates should is scheduled to come out in the next couple weeks. We gotta, so uh, we'll see what happens. Zach has had a good season for sure. He's gotten some really good wins on his resume this season. That's true, and officially, uh, I don't know about officially. Bishley's had some really strong performances too, but he's, I mean, a lot of players in BC suffer from some degree of inconsistency. Like, everyone has bad tournaments. It's hard to be super consistent in this game, but. There it is. That's what I like to see, the up tilt. Nice turnaround up tilt to extend the combo even further. 66% on Zach. Catches him out of the, uh, out of the side B too with that, with that up tilt. Monkey flip paint safe around here, boy. Hmm. The fair catching the banana, actually kind of probably saving Bishley. Nice up tilt catch. Yeah. Really good trap from Bishley. Oh, charge, a little bit of a charge on that up smash just to wait for Zach's side beat. And he calls it and he gets it. Strong first stock from Bishley. Just recognizing what he has to punish here. Oh, Zach tried to counter attack with an aerial at the start of that up tilt string, but uh, Bishley evades. Oh man, Zach hasn't been able to get anything going. Bishley's just been like interrupting, uh, interrupting a lot of Zach's little strings, and in the meantime, Bishley's been like, Zach has tried to break out of Bishley's strings, but it hasn't quite worked out, and Bishley's coverage has been really good. Yeah, and his early percent combos have been on point as well, and I think yeah. that's really the, the determining factor. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Zach probably has those confirms. Oh, Holy clashing. What? So Bishley went for the down air uh, on, and it hit Zach's shield, but it also hit the banana, and it canceled out with the banana, which is really interesting. Just absolutely amazing. I love it. <laughs> Falling there, but Zach's going to punish that with a down tilt forward air. Good job sealing out that stock. Zach now is. Oh, yeah. I was just going to say, really good awareness, recognizing that up smash might not have connected, but forward air would end with KO. It was a good call from Zach. Absolutely, Zach. Now just looking for uh, a little bit of percent. He will play safe or get some combos started. Mm -hmm. Down tilt into down smash. Guaranteed damage. That's what he needs right now. And Bishley looking for the kill confirm. Zach dropping his shield on that multi jab. Just a lot of pressure on Zach right now. He has to uh, really fortify. He has been like making like this percent deficit is a lot less than it was earlier in the game. Zach has been making it back, but he's in kill percents now, and that landing situation was kind of sketchy. I could very, very easily have ended the game, but the up smash wasn't timed well enough. Mm. The they're, bo tilt. they're both throwing things out. They're looking nice. for this kill. Good backer to intercept the phantasm, nice but doesn't get backer. the second one. Up smash doesn't reach the platforms. Zach just waiting for his moment, and oh. there it is. Yeah, that it almost looked like Fox was gonna pop out of that up smash, but he kind of like got hit by the back, very back end of the first hit. Evaded the second hit, but the top of the third hit caught him and killed him. And, and that's... Huh? Did they? Yeah. Really? I, I, I only saw two of them. I don't know. Oh, maybe I just missed back, it. Back to Lilat? That's huh? interesting. Someone missed it. Uh, okay, anyway. Yeah, so we're going to game two. Bishley counterpicking right back to Lilat. What I want to see from Bishley this time is just taking a little bit slower in the neutral. Zach was actually able to just take it at the neutral advantage and then push that over and over. Yeah. Um, and you've seen the early percentages until mid percentage, Bishley would have the advantage and get all the reads he needed to. But after yeah. that, it was a little bit tough for him to acquire that percent. It requires a read or on the monkey flip or on the punishing on the fares or back airs. Mm -hmm. Uh, but Zach has adapted tremendously since... He has, for sure. Since that first stock, yeah. Yeah, the, the last match, there was definitely a, a reverse of momentum shift. Uh, Bishley's punish game was greatly outstripping Zach's in the beginning of that match, but towards the end, we saw kind of the opposite, where Bishley wasn't able to trap Zach quite as well as he had that first stock, 
and Zach, Zach's punishes were more consistent. Yeah, great job just recognizing what it is that's getting you hit from Zach and then uh, stopping doing those things. Yep. Yeah, Bishley is, uh, he hasn't been able to get, get as many openings. He's looking a lot less confident in his approaches and his traps than he has in the past. Oh, getting the up tilt. Oh, the pops out of that up, up air, though. Good. That, that, that was really good for Zach. Oh, uh, Bishley getting the neutral get up. Looking for an air dodge. Not quite. But uh, Zach now knows that he shouldn't air dodge, so maybe Bishley is going to recognize that and take that information and run with it. Mm. Yep, shield grab back air. That's going to take the stock from Zach. That back throw deceptively strong. It ha yeah, it has, it has quite a bit of knockback, and it can definitely... KO, it, especially if you're at the ledge. Does a lot of damage too. It's like, yeah. Anything more than 10% for a grab is ridiculous. <laughs> it's pretty good, yeah. Officially <laughs> looking for the one-two into up smash. Grab to break him out of shield. He doesn't want him to get him too comfortable mm -hmm. in shield. He tried to catch Zach uh, dashing in with that up smash, but Zach really smart, just like running in shielding, knowing anticipating Bishley's up smash. But he gets that one, catching the landing. Yeah, utilizing his fast move speed, he was able to get to the ground a little bit faster than Zach and punish uh, punish what looked to be an air dodge yeah. into ground. Mm -hmm. But now back to neutral. Zach working on the mid-high percent. Dash attack the forward air, interesting. <coughs> Down tilt to the shield on the up tilt. Bishley a little bit comfortable. Just gonna throw some lasers be oh. very safe. Jabbing in the opposite direction. Zach gets a down tilt, but no other significant punish. Bishley needs a vortex. He, uh, he, Fox is certainly capable of racking this damage really quickly, but Bishley hasn't, he hasn't had an opportunity like that this entire game, really. Oh, getting the rapid jab, putting on a little bit of percent, but uh, not pushing the advantage. Mm. Trying to dash in and out, but Zach catching a dash with a down tilt. Banana is going to push Bishley off the, off the edge of the platform. Now Bish is going to go uh, insane right here. Um, he knows this is his last with chance. With that opportunity, though, he, he, hit, he hit Zach with a banana and then got no follow-up off of it. Tried for a grab and whiffed. And yeah, Bishley just, like, he looked so clean. Like, his, his combos and uh, frame traps were so good that first stock of the set. And then after that, he just, like... I don't know if he ran out of steam or Zach was just like DIing or positioning himself, himself better to avoid those those situations. But I Bishley just like wasn't able to get any more of that damage that he needed. It was a, a combination of that and uh, the fact that Zach wasn't giving him the monkey flips onto stage to be able to punish. Yeah. He cut out a lot of the things that were getting punished right off the bat and then just adapted to everything else Bishley had to offer. Yeah, for sure.